This spiritual musician is wise beyond his years. Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking to Justin Nozuka. When did you first know that music was your calling? It's around 12 years old or so. This morning I woke up beside the river. And I just started singing all the time. I started singing in the car uh, on the way to hockey games. And whenever the radio was on, I would sing and I would watch TV and sing. You come from a family of very artistic people. How would you say this upbringing affected your career and your, your outlook on life? I've had a lot of support, so I'm pursuing music, I think, because of my family. And um, I'm communicating through music because of my family. How would you say you've evolved from your first record, Holly, and your second record, You, I, Wind, Land, and Sea? I discovered a lot of new artists, you know. I discovered Radiohead, and that was a big realization for me, you know. Just seeing what can be done with music. And, and I've been studying more and more now, listening to recordings, and I have a different perspective now because I know what it's like to record. And I'm learning about this process more and more. I heard that you're going to be opening for Stevie Wonder for a festival in France soon. So what does a gig like that mean to you? I mean, uh, I think Stevie Wonder is a gift, you know. I don't think there's anybody like Stevie in, in the entire world. Look at me, it hits me just like a summer breeze. My. And now being able to open for him, it's it's it's, it's crazy. You started writing songs about love and heartbreak when you were very young, you know, in your early teens. Would you say that writing about these themes comes from your own personal experience? I think that these ideas um, of heartbreak were ways or vehicles of, of uh, expression, vehicles uh, just to express. And a lot of it was also, I was copying what I was listening to, and most of what I was listening to was about heartbreak or, you know, uh, girl, girl love. You often have religious allusions in your lyrics. Would you consider yourself a very spiritual person? I think everybody's spiritual, you know. Uh, I think spirit is part of reality and um, life is magical, you know. So for myself, all I want to do really is be open to the magic and be open to spirit and to connect to spirit and live life, live life. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.